Hello and welcome to the Knit and Crochet Club. Um, this is the crochet portion of it since it's five o'clock. And we are starting here today with the basics. Things that you'll need are a crochet hook. I am currently using a G. I, for this first one, used an H and it made a very large scarf. Um, I wasn't really sure what size I wanted to go for for it. And then I also have some worsted weight yarn. And this I had said that you might need 450 yards of yarn around there. Um, I kind of used a calculator from offline to figure that out. And the reason why you need about 100 more yards than the knit one is the way that crocheting is done, the way it's like tangling together, it ends up needing more yarn. It's a little more complex of a knot. And then we are doing basic stitches. So we're doing our single crochet, which is often seen if you're looking at a pattern as SC. We're doing half double crochet, which is shortened to HDC double crochet which is shortened to DC and then a triple crochet which is put as a TR. There's also patterns that have symbols but I can't actually speak a symbol so I could also share some information on that in our uh, page. Our group page has guides and those guides actually have some links to YouTube videos and other helpful things. Um, so if you're left-handed, it's got instructions for someone who's left-handed because I am right-handed, so it might be easier for you to see someone doing this left-handed. I have tried to crochet left-handed and I just can't do it, so it is very hard to crochet with your non-dominant hand. And here we'll kind of show we did our foundation chain here and I will go over how to do a foundation chain and then it was a single crochet half double crochet and then let's see I think I went back to a single crochet there and then that is a double crochet that one is no, that's the triple crochet. And then there's the single crochet again, half double. So to get us started, we're going to start with a slip knot just like we did with the knitting. So you're just going to wrap around your finger, pull up. So you've got this loop that you're holding with your thumb. You can use your hook to pull that through, or you can just use it with your fingers. And there is your slip knot and then you can pull that tight and I will show that one more time wrap around your finger pull it off your finger you've got a loop you can pull your active yarn through you don't want to pull the tail through you want to pull what's attached to the rest of your yarn you're working with Oop. I don't like it a little bit there we go. I'm going to pull that active yarn through and then just pull that tight and then you can pull that tight. And now for the foundation chain, you can wrap around your hook like this and then it's going to hook into it and pull that yarn down through. And I'm going to zoom in up closer focus it in yep nice and focused so I'm picking up that yarn and pulling it through picking up the yarn and pulling it through and for this pattern we are going to do 27 stitches and then we'll do an extra stitch that's going to be our little side stitch that we do So 
so I'm going to... So you can see, now that it's focused here up close, there's kind of like these V's. And each of those V's is one of your chains that you made. And those are what you're going to be stitching into also. So you can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. So I've already done twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. And I said we needed one extra here, and that's going to be our like side that we're doing. So technically 28 at this point, you'll have 27 stitches after you've done your first row. And if you look at the back side, there is kind of these bumps. And I'm usually pretty lazy when it comes to this, but you can pick up both of these stitches to do your first row, but I usually just do at least one of the loops. So we have our one single um, chain. We're going to stick our crochet hook in here into that first one after that. So it's your second chain from your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through. And then you yarn over again and pull through the two. And that is your first single crochet. And we're going to continue single crocheting across the whole um, foundation chain here. So we're going to go into the next one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again, and pull through the two loops on your hook. And we're going to keep doing that. you just put your hook into the next chain you pull the yarn that you've yarned over you yarn over and pull through two and go into the next one yarn over pull through yarn over again and pull through two and we'll just keep doing that for all 27 of those chains. And now I've reached the very end. I'm going to go into that very last one. I yarned over and pulled through, yarn over again, and pull through the last two. So we have done a entire row of single crochet, and it looks like that. Um, and you see here, change our focus. It's a little bit shorter because I am using a smaller hook than I did for the first one, and this is actually more of an appropriate size of a scarf, anyhow. So we'll move on to our next row and for this one I'm still just going to do a one chain so that's our side here um, I'm going to take that chain out so I can show you how I chain after a after an end of a row so just a chain at your end of the row, or really anywhere in your project, you're going to yarn over and then pull through the loops like that. So we did one chain, and then we're going to turn it the other direction. And our first stitch here, um, so you have your chain, you see the V's here, you've got front and back loops, your front would be the front that's facing you and the back the back that really doesn't matter at this point because we're not doing front and back loop stitches but we will get to that in another month um, 
you want to go through both of these, but we're going to do a half double crochet, so I'm going to yarn over like that, so I have an extra loop on my hook now, and I'm going to go into that first stitch there, I'm going to yarn over and pull that through, so now we have three loops on our hook, I'm going to yarn over again, and because this is a half double crochet, I'm going to go through all three. And then for our next stitch, we're going to do the exact same thing, yarn over, go into that next stitch, pull up some yarn, and pull it through your stitch, yarn over again, and pull through the three that were on your hook. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way across for those 27 stitches. To do a half double crochet, you yarn over like that, you go into this next stitch, so you see how there's two parts to it, you yarn over, pull through those two stitches, which is just a one stitch, the two loops, you yarn over again, we pull through all three loops that are on your hook. Yarn over. there is our half double crochet row. It's not a whole lot different in size from the single crochet, but it is a little taller and bulkier and oftentimes used along with single crochets to create a different texture. So you'll notice with knit and crochet that knit really is knit and purl. That's about it and then a couple other things. Crochet is a bunch of diff different stitches, and then you can use those in combination. So there's a lot more to learn with crochet. For our next row, we're going to do our double crochet. So this one I'm actually going to chain two. So one, yarn over, pull through, two. And that's because it's a little taller. And I'm going to yarn over just like we did for the half double crochet. We're going to go into our first stitch here. You don't want to go into your chains because then you'd be adding stitches. Um, you go into your first stitch, you pull through just like we have done for the single crochet and half double crochet. You yarn over and only pull through two of them. Yarn over again and pull through two which are the last two on your hook. So that was our first double crochet. We're going to yarn over again at this point and go into the next stitch, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So now we've done two double crochets and you can see they are a lot taller than the other two. And then the next stitch will be another double crochet and we're just going to keep doing that all the way across. You're going to yarn over, so you'll have a yarn over your hook. You're going to go through that next stitch, pull up the yarn while you're in that next stitch, pull through, yarn over, I don't know how in focus I actually am, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over and pull through two. So I've reached the end here and I'm going to do one, two, and three chains so that we are tall enough for our triple crochet. So we have a row of single crochet, a row of half double crochet, and a row of double crochet which is our last one here. And we're doing our triple crochet. I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go into that first stitch, not the chain stitches and pull the yarn through, yarn over, oh, actually, nope, I didn't do it right, I'm undoing it, I didn't do my wrap around, so I'm going to wrap once and twice, so the one less than the number we're going for, and then I'm going to go into that first stitch and pull up the yarn, pull it through that stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through those last two. And that is a triple crochet stitch. And it is a little bit taller than the two. So to do it again, I'm going to wrap around once, wrap around twice, and then go into that stitch, pull up my yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So there we are. And I will show you what to do if you do the wrong stitch. So I'm going to yeah. do a couple stitches here. Here's a incorrect one. And then I'm going to do some right ones. Just to kind of show what to do if yeah. you've done something wrong and you've kind of continued of on. Heel. So I just did a double crochet here. These ones are correct and this is a double crochet. So it doesn't look too bad but if you really want to fix it you can just take your hook out of that loop and pull until you get... Fine. there's that fine. first one that was wrong. No, and then you'll want to leave this one and put your hook back in no. and then you can continue again Why? from where you were at. And I'm using the US terms. There are different terms for UK. Um, so if you ever see a pattern that says double crochet and you're like, why is this so big? Why is this turning out this way? It doesn't look anything like the picture. It might be because it is in UK terms and not US terms. So I'm going back to single crochet after this row. I'm going to give that example, though, of a taller. So if you wanted to do something, say, an 8, let me do a single crochet here first so that we're out of that edge. So say we want to do an 8 tall one. I don't even know what we would call that, but I would wrap around 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven times. So it's pretty wrapped around here. We go into the next stitch, just like normal. You pull up that next yarn and then you yarn over again after pulling it through the stitch and you would only pull through two of those many wraps of yarn on there. You would yarn over again and pull through two, yarn over again, pull through two, and you keep repeating that until you've gone through all of those and that you only have one loop left on your hook. So we have made this ridiculously long piece, but you might have a pattern that calls for it in something lace, or I made something that was like a swiffer pad, so it had chain ends like that. But I'm just going to pull that out because we don't actually need that and continue on with my single crochets. So reminder on single crochet, you go in your next stitch, you yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through too. So it's a lot of twos. <laughs> So just in this little bit, we have already done about two inches of our scarf, which is pretty exciting. Um, you would keep repeating these rows for our first portion of our scarf um, until you got about six inches. You could also modify this if you want a longer scarf. We've got 10 months that we're doing this, so I did six inches and it'll be a 60 inch scarf, um, give or take. Some of my rows ended up getting a little bigger than others because of the patterns. So we just finished single crochet and I'm gonna do two chains. No, just one because we're gonna do the half double crochet next. And really you can put these in any order you want. If you want to make more of a design you can. I was just doing them in order. I'm gonna yarn over and go into that first stitch yarn over and pull through the stitch, yarn over and pull through two, and actually I pull through three because we're doing the half double crochet. Yarn over, go through your stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all three. So I just did two chains here at the end and I'm going to turn it so that we can do our double crochet again. And I just want to yarn over once, go through that first stitch and pull through, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. two yarn overs, go into our first stitch, yarn over, pull that yarn over through, yarn over again, pull through two, yarn over again and pull through two more, and then yarn over and pull through those final two. One, two, go through, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through final two.
you'll want to continue doing to the length that you want. We've already surpassed three and a half at this point, just a little over three and a half. Um, I'm aiming for six inches, it might be a little more, um, so that we can get a 60 inch uh, scarf at the end of this. Uh, and then next month we will be doing the double herringbone stitch and continuing on from here. Um, one thing that you might want is you could take a safety pin or if you do have stitch markers and you can grab one here, you can take a safety pin or stitch marker and put it on here when you're done for the month or even in between times of working on it and that way if it gets pulled on it's not going to unravel the whole thing especially good if you have pets or little ones in your house so just keep practicing and uh, if you do have any questions if you need any help you can put something in the comments you can comment on any of the stuff on our group page good luck Hope everything goes well for you. Thank you for joining and hope to see you next month.